I'm Elaine, and I'm a senior at Lincoln High. You go! This is a poem. I worked through the entirety of my last chemistry exam until I got to the final question. Please synthesize this year's curriculum to explain the nature of matter and how it makes up the universe. I almost wrote the right answer. But instead, I reached into my backpack and I pulled out my purple highlighter. And then the space where my answer was supposed to explain everything, I drew a purple unicorn. When I got my test back, there was a note by the last question that read, you were doing so well. What happened? So, dear teacher, you want to know what happened in between me parroting back to you this week's lecture and my artistic outburst? I will tell you. I went to visit the ocean, my serenity, and instead of relishing in the feeling of the water around my ankles and the soul-cleansing sound of the waves and looking down at the sand wondering how big infinity is, I found myself figuring out how long it would take for the tides to turn and calculating the 26.25 grams per cubic centimeter density of the sand so that maybe I could count to infinity. Right here on this beach, dear teacher, I am scrutinizing my serenity. Your class ruined my oasis. I go stargazing when the city becomes too much. I look up at pinpoints of light and get lost in just how small I am and make up stories about the figures I see in the sky. But now I can see every angle between each and every one of those stars and I wonder how our 23 and a half degree tilt influences them. Dear teacher, this is not stargazing. It is star analyzing. And it, it is a tragedy, but the worst blow you struck to my humanity was this. When I feel the caress of a lover's hand on my cheek, I no longer feel love. Instead, I'm absorbed by the idea of my nerves sending messages to my brain to release dopamine and oxytocin so I feel intoxicated, dear teacher. You asked me what to do with this unicorn. Take it home frame it and put it on a wall where you will see it every glorious day and be reminded that you are not 206 bones with blood vessels woven in. You are human. Yeah.